Hello. So we are back Wednesday. And we have another laptop to fix. Yeah. This is a Lenovo laptop. Nvidia graphics, i5. Looks like a nice laptop. Okay. So the problem with this one, we booked in this one for not charging. Okay. But of course I know what's the problem now. Because we diagnose the things straight how they come. So that's why it's important just to look professional it's important to diagnose the you know is the customer is there oh just give me 10 15 minutes i will uh, diagnose quickly to see what's the problem and you give them the right price yeah that that's very professional less professional is to say you know what leave it i will check and i'll give you a call yeah it, it's a bit a little bit less yeah so the thing is to diagnose the things quickly now what can be here can be the charging port or the motherboard that's all what can be let me grab a charger plug the charger it's kind of that kind of toshiba pin power on nothing will happen and also we have uh, the leds are off okay so that's that's the issue with this one but you have to diagnose this like you have minutes no minutes sorry you have seconds to diagnose it give a proper diagnose okay so the charging board looks dodgy here i can see some rusty but the charging board is it's it's solid it's not moving yeah so it is a charging board we don't know yet so how do we check first i want to see a reaction from the computer when i press the power button and usually if you have a i don't know a motherboard fault or you have a good laptop you have you see a reaction when you press the power button but not always. Let's say the motherboard is faulty. I will not see a reaction on the current because I'll check with the power supply. I told you you have to see what, what, the, what the current is doing. You will not see a reaction when you press the power button. But you will see that 33 volts power supply which is on. You will see there like 10 milliamps yeah, or 15 milliamps drawing from the, from the power supply. Because that 3.3 volts power supply and the super IO together, they are always on. Okay, so you will know if it's a motherboard fault or a charging port. If it's taking no power, nothing. It is a charging port. So that's how you check quickly. So first, power supply. We have 19.6 volts there. So what I will do? We have ground and plus. Let me see how can I do it. I have the power supply here. You see, I can short the, the thing is. Yeah, we have a current limit around 2.4 amps. So what I'll do, I will take the ground from the char from the USB port. You know, that's ground. The shield from the USB port is ground. So I'll stick it on the plus. And it's taking no current. You can see on the power supply. So let's try and keep it here and pre press the power button and see what happened. Anything happen? No, is no reaction on the power supply. I have ground here. It should be a short with this ground. And it's no short. So what does that mean? Does mean the ground from here is not the same ground with this. And that's not normal. Maybe it is with the ground from inside of the charging port, yeah? So let's stick it inside. And we have no ground. It's, it, you can see it will be a short on the power supply. It'll be like that. So it's nothing. We have no ground. Okay. So what do we know till now? Till now we know this ground is not the same with this ground. So most likely the the charging port ground is broken. What, the, what about the plus? The plus is good. Let's try. So we have ground from there and plus here. Pressing the power button. And it's working. It's working or not? No, it's not working. No. So the plus is not working. So what does it mean? Does it mean even this ground is broken? Or even the plus is broken. 
So the next step, what I will do, I'll take the ground from different place. Let's try and take out the battery and don't play with the battery inside and uh, take out this screw. This laptop looks like someone already opened it. So I'm not sure what we can find inside. Yeah, you can see that screw is used. What I'll do next, I'll take ground from different place. Now the ground, I want to check the ground of the charging port and the USB port to know which one is broken. Yeah, seems logical. So we have ground from the USB port. Now look, it's no short. That means this ground is broken. So the ground from the, the USB port to the motherboard is broken. And from the charging port, nothing. So even the ground from the charging port to the motherboard is broken. Inside of the charging port, nothing. So what do we know? We know the ground from the charging port is broken. The ground from the USB port is broken. We still need to know if the plus is good. So we have the ground there. I'll come with the plus on the middle of the charging port and I'll see if the laptop is coming on and it's taking any power. So the, the plus on the middle of the charging port and now pressing the power button. Check on the check on the on the power supply 1.6 amps 1.4 and the laptop is on. Yeah. So you see you can find a lot of things without opening the laptop. Yeah. Without opening the laptop. You cannot take the ground. You can take the ground from the next USB port. Yeah, let's try. Or from the HDMI port. From HDMI port. From the same way. Plus. Let's press the power button. And it's taking 1.4 amps, 1.5, and it's coming on. Yeah. That's how you diagnose a thing without opening like seconds with the customer there and now you know for sure what do you know we know the plus from the charging port is good we know the motherboard is good because it's coming on we know the ground from the charging board is broken also we know the ground from the usb port is broken so we found two faults in seconds yeah usually it's taking seconds it's that easy okay so now let's open this and fix it now we know the problem all we have to do is to fix it. The DVD screw is missing. So like how I told you, probably someone opened this before. The keyboard screw is missing. That's why it's important to know how much to ask. Maybe if you don't check, yeah, let's say you don't, you don't check. And you charge money for the charging port. For the, we, we charge for the charging port less compared with the motherboard repair. Yeah, that's logical. So I charge the money without if I'm not checking. I will say, okay, it looks broken, so the charging board is broken, I will charge only that money. And when I try to fix it, I realize it's a motherboard fault. I'm losing money. It, it's, it's not only about losing money, but if you call the customer and let's say, look, I was wrong, actually it's different fault, it, it's not that professional. Okay. This looks like a little bit old laptop, when probably the normal were still making good laptops. 
solid charging for the Toshiba style everything nice here this looks like a nice laptop Okay, so what do we have more? Let me grab my screwdriver is here. I have two more screws from the hinge. Oh, this is missing. And this is too deep. Okay. So we can open now. I think we can take out the keyboard. Uh, look at the hinge. Look at this one. I just opened the, the screw from there. Let's take out the keyboard. So you see, even even if in our case we bo we booked in the laptop, you know, we check a few seconds charging port, and you open the laptop and you realize, oh, we have a hinge issue. So now you work for free. So you will fix that hinge, because if you don't fix that hinge, he will come back with the charging port. So you have to fix that hinge for free, okay? Because again, now to do what? Call him and say, look, we found a second problem? It, it, it's not that good, you know? He will think, why didn't you find it from the beginning? Probably he will not understand. The seal is, is broken, so someone definitely opened this laptop before. That connector is not even plugged in. I don't know what's this, what is this connector. I have no idea. So this is the power button connector. Give me one second. Okay, I don't know what's that ribbon cable. The one from the power button, it is plugged in. But this, I don't know why that cable is unplugged. So probably someone try and fix it. Hmm, what is was here? I think here is speaker or microphone. Who knows? Well, let's open now. Okay. So the laptop is looking good inside. The hinge is gone. Look at the hinge. Look at the hinge. The hinge is gone. Looks like someone used uh, super glue to stick the charging port. What about the USB port? The USB port looks fine. What's that ribbon cable? Let's check. The one which was not plugged in is from some LEDs here or sensors anyway wow but this looks quite bad so someone used a lot of super glue okay let's check with the multimeter What's wrong with the ground from the from the USB port? Uh, let me check with my beeping one. So that's no ground. Maybe it's ground only on uh, on the USB pin. Uh, 
ground ground here yeah so the USB pin has ground but not the shield the shield doesn't have ground most likely supposed to take the ground from this which is broken probably weird weird and strange actually the USB port doesn't have ground or it's supposed to take ground from this uh, thingy you see this one some uh, material uh, you know grounded metal thingy so what's wrong with the charging port then? The both wires are here. Looks fine. Let's go under the microscope and see. Yeah. Let's try and figure it out. So that's the charging port, that's the USB port, and the charging port you can see they use hot glue, uh, sorry super glue, this is super glue, this is the hinge, the hinge is broken here, and it's broken here, so you have to fix this, the charging port, I can't take it out, but we can check inside the pins, That's the plus, which is some hard glue here. Probably that's how it's made from factory. And ground is here and is broken. That's the ground wire. Yeah? So that's the ground wire. So that's our problem. Okay, so we have two ground wire and two plus. They are using two wire each to carry more current. Okay. That's why they are using two wires and not only one. So the grounds are fine. We have to solder them uh, together. The wires looks dodgy. Let's use Rossi and Colophonia. Good. I can't short them because if I'll short the wires, I can't solder them. And the temperature of my solder iron is too high. But that, that is fine. Now the second problem is to take out the charging port. The charging port is stuck with that hot glue, uh, super glue, sorry. So how can I take it out? Hmm. How can I broke this? Wow. This is solid stuck there. Okay, I took it out. And we have the ground there, you can see. 
that's the charging port look inside the uh, that's the ground yeah that's the ground so we have to solder the ground there you know what I will lower the temperature of my solder uh, I can't see, sorry. Good, now we can solder the wire if we can. There's no point replacing the charging port, the charging port is fine. The charging port is not the problem, the problem is the wire, the ground wire. Okay? And everything is fine. No, the big problem is a big problem is how we can fix the charging port back. And for that one, I will use hot glue. Okay. Same with the hinge. Let's be sure the hinge is tightened on the the other side and it is it is so first the, ch the charging port let me grab some uh, hot glue I can't take out the nozzle. Come on. Okay. All good. Hot glue. Let's get some hot glue. So definitely someone tried to fix it. Good, so we have like a bed of hot glue there. Let's put a charging port. Let's keep it a little bit and after that we can uh, use more just to be sure it's proper fixed. The charger, how we can power up the laptop? So power on connector is this one. Let's see. Which pins? No one. Okay, let's try with the ground, yeah? Ground.
Okay, so the third pin, so if you have this model, and you see the laptop is on, okay, the third pin connected with the ground, that's the hot, uh, hot pin, okay? Good. Now let's use more hot glue, and also, also we have to fix the hinge. Okay, and now the other one. Now let's try. So it is on place. It is on place. What I will do now, I'll take the small nozzle. If I can find the small nozzle. Yeah. I'll use a small nozzle because the hinge is cold, so you come with hot glue, it will not bond. So less air, 500 degrees, and let's heat up the hinge, okay? And if you heat up the hinge, it will bond, yeah, with the hot glue. Now, let me take out this, let's use more hot glue. You have to move fast because also you have to come with the with the with the top cover over the hinge and also here the charging port let's finish with the charging port and the wires don't forget the wires Now the top cover. So it will bond all together, yeah, like a sandwich. The bottom cover, the top cover, the hinge in the middle, and the, you have also the charging port in the middle. 
Okay, I'll keep it pressed. Let's keep it pressed. The next one, let's connect the oh, the whole ribbon cables here. We have this one. The power button. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sorry, computer. Yeah. What was that? Let me check. <laughs> yeah. Let me check. This connector is dodgy. And I can see like a drop of water damage. Yeah. But we'll check after. I can use a clamp. And you see now, I know for sure everything is perfect there inside. It's tight. Okay, let's wait a little bit for the code glue to cool down. And we have a lot. The the the, the good part, the nice part with the with the hot glue. Let's say it's hot glue here, and I want to open the, the, the laptop again. I just heat up with 100 degrees the plastic. Nothing will, ha will happen with the plastic at 100 degrees. 150. 150 degrees, nothing will happen. It will op open nicely. And we have more. Look, I will show you. Yeah, this is another job. You see, waiting to be repaired. Another hinge. Same story. You know, it's like five minutes. In five minutes you fix the hinge. And we have more. I love hot glue. So easy to work with. Let's try to put the screws back. This screw is not from here. I have a package here and I don't know from where because I don't remember to order something but who knows what's this? huh? From where is coming? Hmm. You know what? Probably either my daughter, either Diana ordered something like that. But that's not me. Okay. Okay, screws, screws. More screws. Don't 
that's not from here. Like we can't do anything because we are stuck with this connector with the touchpad. I don't know if the touchpad connector is good because it's lifting by itself and looks like one pin is look like it even is not right on the place. Maybe we can do something, but I have to check first. What do I want to do now? It's still warm. I want to put the screws. Yeah. So here is no screws what we can use. The other hinge, yeah. That's the keyboard, that's from DVD. So you see it's not always win, yeah? Well, actually we diagnosed the, the laptop pretty accurate But I didn't think, you know, even the hinge is broken So we fixed the hinge for free Well, if you think, you know, it's nothing, it's just a little bit of hot glue It's no loose here was no screw, so I'll try to find one. The hard drive. No, oh, these are from the battery. So if I leave it like that, I'm sure the customer will come back and say, look, my touchpad was working before. You know what he said? That's that what, what he will say. You know? hmm. Yeah, it was working before you opened the laptop. Then you stuck your charging board with a super glue. So I think we are ready to test this. And one more screw here. The battery. The hinge? Perfect. Yeah, everything is perfect there. Let me plug the charger. Give me one second. Give me one second.
OK, so let's check. Press the power button. And the laptop is coming on. We have these LEDs are on from the sensors. But we have no picture. What we did. Why we have no picture? The fan is spinning, but we still have no picture. Okay, let me do something. Let me power off this. It's off. Let's take out this connector. Power on. And it's still no picture. Power off. Let's take out the touchpad. Power on. Why? It was working fine. Where is no picture on screen? <sighs> so what we did wrong? Battery. Let's take out the battery. You'll be surprised, but can be the battery. Let's try one more time. Well, it's not the battery. So what it is then? Screen connector is plugged in. Let's take out some things like hard drive, DVD drive. RAM memory, RAM memory is fine, looks fine. Hard drive, yeah. Power button, press hard. Yeah. Give me one second. Okay. Let's take out the hard drive. Because we did nothing. I can't see a reason why this laptop is not coming on. On and it's coming on. Huh? It's coming on. We have backlight but it's, not, it's, it's nothing on the screen. I don't understand. Let's take out the DVD. This is weird. Let's try one more time.
And it's still nothing. We have backlight but nothing on screen. I don't understand. We have nothing to do with the picture. The ribbon cable, the screen connector is here. So it's going through the hinge, this hinge. So I have nothing to do with this hinge. Ah, oh, sorry, we have picture. We have picture, yeah? Let's plug back the DVD. DVD is plugged back. Let's power on. Yeah, and we have the boot menu. Let's plug the hard drive. So probably the hard drive is gone. Plug the hard drive back. Let's power on one more time. And we have backlight. That's crazy, now it's working, it was not working, it was no picture on the screen and the windows is loading. So what's then the problem? You know, I, I hate these things. Once it's working, once it's not. Ah uh, no, look, look what happened. You see it gets stuck on some... Uh, with some weird uh, things on the screen. Usually that happen from the RAM memory. When the RAM memory is moving, you'll see it's freezing. The screen is freezing on uh, with some weird lines or I can see some you can see something on the pin here. Let's take this out. What's here? Let's check together. That's water damage? Or what? Or someone scratched the... No, I think someone scratched the, the, the RAM memory. Or water damage? Hmm. Let's clean it a little bit and see what is there. No, it was water damage. No, it's not scratch, it was water damage. Here it's a little bit rusty. Or not. Only there was like a spot of of uh, of water damage. But yeah, that that can be a reason. Why the laptop is doing these weird things. Now let's plug the charger, power on, then we have backlight, and the windows is loading, preparing automatic repair, but that's fine. Let's put everything back. So you start with a charging port job and you are ending on fixing hinge. Cleaning the water damage from the RAM memory. And actually a job, which is looking like 5 minute job. 
it's getting changed like we are here from uh, 50 minutes <laughs> Obviously, the customer, he didn't say, you know, I did open the laptop or uh, I did drop some water. No, you will not say something like that. I can't put that because we have a screw from the keyboard here. Let's plug the battery. I want to check the touchpad like how I told you. Let's plug this cable. And this cable. Hi, right, one second. Oh, that's sick, it's no picture on the screen. Give me one second. You see, that's a crazy job. Now it's not working. So it is on. Okay, the charging light is blinking. The power on light is not here. Now it is. And it is coming on, sorry. Yeah, it is working. Possible because the battery was too low? Who knows? Let me check the touchpad, yeah? It's loading up the windows. Touchpad is working. Fifty minutes job for a charging port. Nearly one hour. It will be one hour till we finish. Okay, it's loading, loading, loading. Hopefully it's not. Yeah, it is working, so check here. The touchpad is still, it is, is, is working fine. You can see it? Okay. So everything seems fine. We have to put back the keyboard. Keyboard, and we have two more screws, and we can say, you know what, it's fixed. It's not even point trying to get more money. No way. If you try to get more money, goes, oh, come on, it wasn't just a charging port, it was just probably a solder a wire, yeah. But... But it's okay, sometimes you have these kind of jobs. 
the screws, sorry, the screws from the keyboard. So this is one. No, it's not this one. Ah, probably was this. So that's one. Oh, well, that's the second one. Yeah, that was. So we need one more for the DVD. Because it was missing, you remember? Done. We have the charging light. We send the computer to sleep, so it's working fine. Let me see. We have any? Yeah, we have a username. We try to shut it down. Any t shutting down? Okay, so everything is working fine. The job is done was a long job, but sometimes you will have these kind of jobs. It's part of the business. You start with something and you end up with more things. Okay? Well, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Yeah. Hopefully you'll learn exactly how you diagnose the... Uh, yeah? If it's a motherboard or a charging board. Okay? See you later. Bye.